and in this video we are going to see how we can implement adaptive navigation in flutter so as you can see on the screen we have a mac os application which is having an app bar some part on the screen and then a bottom navigation bar where it says you know if i just zoom it out a little bit then you will see it has a home icon it has a call icon and it has a mail icon as well right along with a plus button which is a floating action button right another good thing about adaptive navigation is that you have to write the code once and when you stretch the screen or when you change your device with different screen size is it adapts to that particular screen for example if i stretch it even further then you can see our bottom navigation bar has become navigation rail where you have the floating action button on the top here as you can see and then we have home icon uh, we have the call icon we have the mail icon but the cool thing is that it does not still have the title of these icons right so if we stretch even further then you will see that we have now home call mail and now the floating action button has shifted to the bottom so that is what we call as adaptive navigation this video is sponsored by app circle build your apps distribute it to testers and upload it to app stores all automatically with quick and easy setup one month free coupon code and the link in the description now let's see how we can implement it in flutter so first of all you have to go to your powspec.yml you have to add a dependency over here the name of the dependency is adaptive navigation which is created by the material io team itself so i'll say add dependency to so adaptive navigation this time it should find it so yeah as you can see we have added this package called adaptive navigation the version is 0.0.4 now i will go back to my adaptive folder i will create a new file and i'll just call it navpage.dart for example and now here in the navpage.dart i will import right and in the container i will use something called adaptive navigation scaffold right which will give me a body selected index destination this will be some parameters which i have to pass here so for body let's uh, have just a text saying hey there right and that should be fine we can also wrap it with center so wrap it with center and then for selected index let's say we can say it's a selected index and by default it is zero and we can also create a method called change index where we will pass an index and uh, we will say that selected index is equal to index and we will also do a set state so we will pass this selected index to this selected index and it also needs some destinations right so what i can do for destination part i can you know create another final you know destinations and this will take something called adaptive scaffold destination a list of that so i'll just add adaptive scaffold destination it requires a title so title will be let's say home and uh, it also needs an icon so we will say icons dot home and it should be good to go similarly we will add some more items over here so the second icon will be let's say call and icon can be call the third one will be let's say mail and icon can be mail and that should be fine and now we will replace these destinations with this destinations right and now what i'll do is i'll restart my application and you will be able to see that okay we have to go to main.dart we have to replace our home page uh, to let's say we will replace it with nav page nav page we will import it and also i'll change the color from blue to red okay looks fine and let's do a hot restart and now you will be able to see that we have something called uh, bottom navigation bar for smaller screens and if i you know try to push it i can see the navigation rail over here and then i can see this once again so i can see this with the title as well so this works pretty well 
and uh, a little bit changes uh, we can do is basically first thing we can introduce an app bar and we also have something called an adaptive app bar which is very much similar to normal app bar the only difference you will find is basically that it has a leading width different than what you get with the normal app bar so text we can just say an app bar right and that should be fine also uh, let's add a floating action button so floating action button we can have and uh, we can have on pressed here which will be doing nothing for now and for the child part i will add an icon called icon start add right so this is our floating action button very simple right let's do a hot restart and then now we can find two things one is the app bar on the top and one is the plus button on the bottom right but now if i just stretch it you will see this is working fine right and uh, one more thing you can do is like you can also make sure that this floating action button is not coming on the navigation role so you can add some more property for example you can say fab in rail to false if you do that then you will find that it will never appear on the navigation rail but rather here which is i mean it's a good choice to have right so that's a very simple and a very good way of implementing adaptive navigation in flutter using this package which is adaptive navigation and it's a package by material io so it's a good thing to try and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did press the like button subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos so see you guys in the next video bye bye take care